Welcome back to Duddy's Gaming Adventures, and Pat Duddy here. We are let's play of the Dragon Quest Builders 2 demo. Look at this beautiful place here. Um, the demo. We're just about finished with the demo. Going to squeeze out a third episode of content here, and the full game comes out on July 12th, which is just around the corner. So I'm excited to be enjoying this game so far. Excited about the full game coming out. If you are too, please hit the like button and it really helps us out. Alright, let's get into this. So, last time we're on this island, we met Lulu and Malroth, and we're completed a quest called Lulu's Demands, which is kind of funny. And let's see. Yes, let's have a crack at the workbench, Malroth. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Duddy. I want to be a builder just like you. Now then, what was it you do first? <laughs> no, that's not right. Dang it, why isn't this working? It's getting mad. All right, you asked for it. Oh. What did I do wrong? It doesn't make any sense. Ah, why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a build. Ah, forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun and games, but it looks, it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Daddy. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. Seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you even things out and made something for me. Oh, really? Daddy learns a new Yay! recipe. Oaken Club. A stout and sturdy wooden cudgel. Can only be used by Malroth. Attack plus 12. Alright, well, let's build it. Is that for me? What would I want with a silly old stick? Not just any stick, it's an oaken club. I can use it to whack stuff. <laughs> ah, ah, that sounds right up my alley. Alright, I'll take it. Give it here. And give it to my. Hey, this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. I'm wanting to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty some test swings. There you go. Ah. Test it out, man. You got this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ha ha ha, I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes would be so much more satisfying now. I think you made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Yeah. Thanks, Daddy. This club is in the best present anyone's ever given me. I think. Remember, he lost his memory. Huh? Daddy, can you feel that? Mm. Some kind of evil aura. Must be coming from a monster, but whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than the scrawny little slimes we saw before. <laughs> It's going to be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down the coast to the west. Come on, I want to break my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. New destination's been added to your map. Alright, can we sleep first? Okay. Guess not. Alright, we've got a quest marker on our map. Oh, 
Purple Monsters appears. Ouch. Let's get this guy. Oh. Yeah. Whoa, what was that? You stuck your hand out. Just then I got this irresistible urge to slap it. It's called a high five? Something that friends do to celebrate a job well done. Ah, I never thought of myself as a touchy-feely type. Maybe I can make an exception for this high five malarkey. Anyway. How did you enjoy that battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Dirty Mouse level increases. Ah, mouth gets stronger and Dirty reaches level 2. His maximum HP increases. Hmm. <laughs> Felt good working that rat, right? It's like an irritating little itch has been well and truly scratched. But don't forget you're a builder, not a fighter. I'm gonna stick to the construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do, but I guess wonton destruction is much more my bag. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. There's that wily one, alright? You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Duddy. Glad I met you. What do you say we explore this whole island together, just you and me? But let's do it tomorrow. I'm not about to conk out any second. Mission complete. Time to hit the hay. Sitting in bed during the daytime will restore your health. We'll climb into bed at night and you'll go straight to sleep. Go bright eyed and bushy tailed the next morning. Okay. Let's do that. Alright, so that's cool. So now, so another difference between the first game. There wasn't really XP. There wasn't, uh, you didn't really level up. You leveled up your town based on um, what you built in the town, how you built it, and different things. So this is kind of cool that our character actually gets some uh, experience in leveling in this game. I kind of like that. you too. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. <laughs> First mission to collect some kelp from breakfast from the bee. Eek! No! What is it, Lulu? A monster? It's my scallywinkle! It's disappeared! What? Alright, Malroth, own up! I knew it was you! Poor say, I only ate half of that seared scallywinkle last night so I can have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. What are you wittering on about? I haven't touched your manky, half-munched mollusk. Huh? That aura. What's going on this time? Hey, you too. You're gonna want to see this. Aha! There's the culprit! The monster must be the one who snaffled my scallywinkle! Ho ho ho! Staircase on the mountain. Whoa! It just took down the whole cliff. And are those steps? Ho ho ho! This way, young whip whip whipper steppers. Floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Hmm. Second thoughts. Maybe it'd be able to tell us something about this island. Daddy, let's get after that monster. Got some questions I need to answer. But first, can I cook this kelp? I can't. 
can. It's got a pot above it. Crispy kelp. Okay, cool. Looks like you can only cook one thing at a time, but hey, that's alright. This way, this way, quick, quick, quickly now. Mm. All right, I guess we're following this dude. Arr, stay where you are, you freaky fogey. I don't like this one bit. The mad old monsters even made the sky turn a funny color. Mm. Who cares about the stupid sky? I want my breakfast, and you two are gonna jolly well help me get it back. Definitely lighting the way so we know what direction to go. Definitely like that, that I've got help collecting things. This way, Kitty kit, kitty Winkles, nearly there. He's leading us in a wild goose chase. Does that hard hammer expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? The mountain's got some kind of strange power. Never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. All right. Oh, where are we going? You'll take damage if you fall from a high place. Conserve your health by descending little by little. What's a place like this doing on a desert island? Come on, Dunny, the hammerhead's just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans on all the island's secrets. Okay. There's no escape now, you sneaky skywalker swindler. Just head over the bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry hammer, hammer, hammerhood. I'll tell her no excuses. Stealing is stealing. No ifs or buts about it. Daddy's here, that skywinkle, especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit. Ah yes, Daddy. Just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to ruck, ruck, ruck up here for, oh, a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know he's a builder? 
Ho oh, ho! You're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pitched that scrum 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 to Scallywag was to lure your fine friend up here. Look around you, Duddy. This temple has lain in the sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you're the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix, fix, fix it. Everything you need to rebuild the temp temp temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh-faced builder like you might find the going diff diff difficult without a blueprint as a guide. Come back here, you conniving old codger. Think we're gonna fix your house for free, you've got another thing coming. Anyway, what's a blueprint? Johnny draws out a Mount Top Temple blueprint. Okay then. So I need some brassiers and my circle. Er, Daddy, why did you draw those lines on the ground? Is this one of those blueprints the Hammerhood was telling us about? Gosh, you've never even been here before, but you're able to draw up a design for the Mount Top Temple. That's incredible. All you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprint to the block now. That old loony is telling you the truth. Those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. Looks like all you'll need to do is place the masonry wall blocks in squares and put a brassiere on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Are you ready to show Gary Glossowat how a real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint, you can't go wrong. Build the spec. Press minus when you're standing on a blueprint to view more info about it. Check the blueprint as you build. Make sure every block is in its rightful place. Got to obtain some masonry wall blocks. And I've got some brassiers. Okay. So basically I'm finishing filling out these blocks. Johnny completes the Mount Top Temple Blueprint. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, Daddy. You finished the blueprint. And you didn't even break a sweat. I think I'll have you build me a palace next. That shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I'm an expert, am I? Let's me one thing, though. How did you come up with that blueprint in the first place? Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book on your back is everything you need to know to be a builder written inside. Mm. You're busted now, Duddy. The secret's out, so you may as well let me read it. Huh? You won't? Why not? There's something the matter, Duddy. You've gone all red. Wait, you don't have a Bucky magazine sandwiched between the pages, do you? Mm. Muckiness doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down with a damp cloth would be as good as... Ho oh, ho ho! Finished repairing the temple, I see! I knew you would, would, wouldn't let me down! I'll talk with a glance. You drew up that blueprint as quick, quick, quick as a flash. You're the real deal, Daddy! A builder born in bread, bread, bread! As a thank you for your hard work, 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 I'd like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it for the crack crack cracking job you did. A hammer. Nice. New tool acquired. Hammer. Bash blocks to bits with big hard hits. 
A silly old hammer. I thought you were gonna give me back my breakfast. That's a giant mallet, an indispensable item in the tool kit 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 of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in hand, you can break, break, break blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials. I also have another cork, cork, corking gift for you, Duddy. I'm sure you'll like this one. I give you this island. All of it. Every last black, black, black. What? You're giving him this entire island? All he did was repair the temple. This world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to this island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into the very own piece of paradise. But now, everything has crum crum crumbled away. All that remains is the ancient builder's belief in bed bed bedded in the blocks beneath us. Long have I waited for another builder to come, one who could bring life back to this barren land, block by block, block, block. And you want Duddy here to do all the hard work? We don't even know what we're supposed to build. And we don't know who you are either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. Ah, um, you know that I'm the guardian spirit of this island, and what I say goes... Well, looks like you've just become the proud owner of a private island, Daddy. Are you going to take the offer? I do accept, but you mind if I stay here? I really don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> I'll stick around, too. At least until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you say, Daddy? Will you take the island? It's a stonk, stonk, stonking good offer. Alright, might as well. I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can begin work on Lulutopia. First thing I want is a palace. Malroth, I need you to... <laughs> Lulutopia? I don't think so. Today we established Malroth's Empire of Evisceration. Right, Duddy? She could be our first sacrifice. Oh, you young upstarts, the sound belongs to Duddy now. You should leave big, big, big decisions like these up to him. Now, Duddy, you must be itching to try the giant mallet of yours. Come up and see if you can brick, brick, brick this wall behind me. Absolutely smashing, smash, smashing treasure back there that I think you'd be very interested in. Tooltip hammer. Hammer's perfect for bashing hard blocks. Press the arrow when, for, once for a single strike. Press and hold to hit continuously. Switch tools at any time by pressing A. Okay. Call that a treasure? It just looks like a tatty old notice board to me. It may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact a portal through which a builder may peek, peek, peek into other dimensions. I'll explain more later. For now, just peer into the portal and marvel at all the knock, knock, knock out things you see. Take notice. The notice board is where builders go to share their favorite snaps. Use it when you want to show off a need or need a spark of inspiration. Must be connected to the network to access the notice board. Must create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Alright, we won't do that just yet. Okay. Ho oh ho, did you like what you saw, young, young, youngins? Oh yes, I saw the most wonderful photographs. There were many of them. 
hope Daddy takes the time to snap for you himself. I could be his new model. And he can post them on the notice board to share them with the world. Ho ho ho, young young youngins, enjoy yourselves. Come find me when you're done done done, and I'll be waiting right out here. Say cheese, open the menu with the D-pad and press X to enter snapshot mode. Store up to 99 snaps in your album, which can be accessed from the miscellaneous submenu. Alright, cool. So that's a new wrinkle as you're getting into the game and building things. You kind of share your designs and such. That's kind of cool. Oh ho ho, sound you like your new notice board. It's quite the snap snap snapper's paradise, isn't it? As long as you have one of those boards nearby, you can flop flop flop, that allows the space and time, and observe the work of other builders whenever you desire. Put your creations on display for other builders to view too. I'm sure you can see that notice board is a super 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 source of ideas and inspiration. Half of that was complete gibberish to me, but if it helps you build the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. Speaking of which, I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. Right, the big stumbling block that's getting in the way. It's the island. It's hardly any raw materials, and I don't think even a master builder would contemplate kind of constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Ho ho ho, I know that little lass lass lassie. There's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Truck, truck, truck them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Mission complete. Damn, 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 so I'll point it out. This island is more than a little lack, lack, lacking in useful materials for an aspiring builder. But if you, if you had everything you needed, I doubt you'd make much head head headway with just the three of you. Wood and stone, stone, stone are all well and good, but you really need is people. You have to travel to other islands and bring back, back, back a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely, rat, 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 about this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces will really liven the place up. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to these other islands without a ship? Ho ho ho, a top 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 notch question indeed. Well, that the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. There's a ship. Ho ho ho, a ship, ship, ship. Whoever would have thought it. Doing this on purpose now. Alright, out with it. Who are you really? You can cut all the guardian spirit rubbish. Well, you tell the tell you the truth, I can't remember, remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. I got a funny feeling that it'll all come right back, back, back to me if I watch Daddy work his building magic. There's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get the work started. Your destination's been added to your map. Alright, cool. marker. Let's find the ship. What's up, Captain? Ahoy there, me briny village rats. I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. The name's Brownbeard. I was painted the ocean blue, minded me on bee's knees. I sailed right into the path of one of the children of Hargan's slave ships. I managed to avoid him, but only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized me map was back to front, I was already stuck in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on me port board and bow and put it over. So what's your story? How'd you young whippersnappers, snapper whippers, end up here? My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia. Or at least it will be once Daddy here is finished with it. 
Lunutopia, eh? Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. Aye, and a safe haven for a salted old sea dog like me. Goddess only knows what would have become of me if I hadn't slashed upon these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy's talking about. Tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I'll ship you off to any island from here to the second stain on me map's backside. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of me neck, and I don't know me neck at all. But if you hear of any islands nearby, I'll be happy to ferry you over. Well, your boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks in decent nick. I'd say we've got a deal. Oh, 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 it seems everything has dropped, dropped, dropping into place. The fine captain will take you to the nearby islands, where I'm sure you'll have plenty of materials to able bump up bodied helpers to bring back. Well, the first thing Lulutopia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Tree-lined boulevards, spacious parks, and tables sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrow Field, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruit for fruitful farms. Now it's home to a young lass with a bright future in farming, a dash dash dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help you cause I'm a mark, mark, mark on Captain Brobeard's map. You just leave the sailing to him. You are the magic monster, Daddy. Come and find me when you're ready to go and we'll weigh the anchor. It was five tons the last time I checked. Arr, you demo ends here, young builder. If you're interested in adventure this far, perhaps you'd be interested in the full version of the game. Just don't think about pirating it. Ha <laughs> ha. The high seas and the higher adventures await you in Dragon Quest Builders too. It's like me ferry to Game Bazaar, known as the Nintendo eShop. No oh, thanks. Oh, well, maybe another time. But if you have third thoughts about it, give me a shout. If you change your mind, I'll be right here waiting to whisk you away. After all, the winds that change are always blowing. That's what you got to have when you have beans for breakfast. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, folks. Well, that is going to do it, because that is the end of the demo. Now, this is pretty cool, and I'm interested in the full game. If you've enjoyed this series and want to see more of the adventures of Dragon Quest Builders 2, please hit the like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Enjoying the series, I am very much, and look forward to picking up the full game when it comes out. So until then, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time for more Dragon Quest Builders 2, Duddy's Gaming Adventures.